If faced with failure, 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 how can I, I, can I, can I, can I, can I, I have failed, and now you know you tell me, tell me, tell me, I should be confident. Like really, like really, are you serious? serious? Hmm. Well, I have failed, and I have decided not to give up. I am going to boost my confidence with these steps, and so can you. Let's get started. My name is Janisha Dunkley. Welcome to my channel, Living Healthy, Being Wealthy. This is all about healthy mindsets, okay? What is confidence? Let's talk about that. Confidence, also known as self-esteem, it's a belief. Believing you are capable. Viewing the mistakes as opportunities rather than failure. I remember being told never to say I can't. As a child growing up in Jamaica, my parents always tell me, my sister, she always tell me, never say I can't. Instead, say I can. We are not born with confidence. It's basically a skill. Some say it's genetic, but I believe it's a learned. It's a learned behavior or something that you a skill that you develop over time according to my experience okay and that is the reason why i have to get rid of people out of my life and you should get rid of the people out of your life that is burying and destroying your confidence a lot of people struggle with confidence and self-esteem to be confident is one of the most precious worthwhile gift. You know, it is something that it, it, it's very worthwhile to possess a gift like that. Confidence is built on faith, passion, strength, accomplishment. And if you fail an accomplishment in life, certainly it can damage your confidence and your self-esteem. Because I believe that confidence and self-esteem go together hand in hand. They're like brothers and sisters. It's like you talk about confidence, you talk about self-esteem. I feel like they're basically the same thing, you know. And especially if you're confident, um, if especially growing up, right? If your confidence was damaged or it was violated as a child, whether by your friends, by your family that should be there for you, they, they're the one that should be helping you to boost your confidence instead of tearing it down. You know, it's important to start speaking to yourself, speaking to your children daily, even before they go off to school, you know, develop a routine that you tell your sons and daughters, they can do all things through Christ who strengthened them. Speak to your daughters, my friends. You are beautiful. You are special. I love you. I adore you. Speak to your sons. I love you. God loves you. You are strong, you are courageous, God is with you. He is with you to deliver you always, always. When you start boosting their faith and their confidence as from a child, they will grow up to bounce back from challenges and they will not be afraid to take risk in life, okay? So we need to speak to our sons and daughters from now. And guess what? the first step is going to be the hardest because we are so scared to lose people even when they're killing us slowly slow death we are still afraid to get rid of these people in order to begin the process of strengthening and building a growth mindset you will have to start by releasing your mind from the stress of others, the stress that others have caused you, have caused in your life, it is time to release them, get rid of them, okay? And you have to build a growth mindset and build confidence, you know? How do you do this? How do I build a growth mindset? How do I build confidence? You have to be open, you know? You have to embrace challenges change the language you speak this 
in order to boost confidence, you're going to have to deal with some practical stuff. This, this is going to be action that you will have to take. Start now. You know, start by saying, I can, rather than I can't. You know, instead of saying, I, I can't do this, you know, instead of saying that, say, let, I, I will wait. Let's wait. You know, let's do this later. I am going to fail. Why are you failing yourself first? You didn't even start, but you are failing yourself. And listen, everything begins in the mind. You know, stop failing yourself in your mind because when you think it, that's what's going to happen. You know, everything begins in the mind. The mind is a powerhouse, you know. So instead of saying, I am going to fail, try this. I will try and I will learn. I will try and I will learn. These are minor changes to your language that can shift your mindset completely. Encourage a growth mindset. That is our priority right now. Okay, develop, encourage a growth mindset. Practice failure and keep trying, trying, keep trying. You know, practice failure and keep trying first. Listen, the first airplane that we love so much to travel the first airplane by the Wright brothers have you ever heard that story the Wright brothers had many failures they attempt but guess what they didn't stop they didn't stop because of determination because they embrace that those failures they they were successful you know it took them many painful failures for years, they were self-taught engineers. And guess what? Today we have aircraft. We have airplanes. Look at us flying all over, right? Flying all over. Some of us even own our own aircraft. Look at that. And that all begins with failure. So embrace it. Don't be afraid to fail. Don't be afraid to fall and get up. It's a process. It's a process. Embrace the love of God in your life. When you increase your faith in God, your confidence will increase, my friends. This is why faith is complete. This is why faith is the complete trust for confidence in someone or something. That is the meaning of faith. And when we believe that we are made in God's image, this can help us to reframe our lives and self-image. Like, come on, reframing your mind, your self-image, knowing that I was created by God in His own image. I don't need someone else to validate me. You know, God created me. And that is what's going to empower you. You have to embrace those words, the words of God. You know, there is power in the word. Philippians 4 verse 13, I can do all things through Christ who strengthened me. That alone right there is empower, empowerment, you know, for the mind, body, and the soul. You will not even care so much about what people think about you. Because your, your faith is so high in God. You know that he created you. You're like... Why should I care what someone else think about me? You know, you will start practicing confidence without even realize it. It is a beautiful thing. You will start practicing it without even realize it. And when you catch it, you're going to be like, oh my goodness. Wow. That didn't even bother me. You know? So start. Start embracing the word of God. And remember this, the same energy that you send out will start coming back to you in your life, okay? Whatever you put out, whatever beautiful energy that you send out there, that is going to come back in your life in full force and in abundance. 
stop comparing yourself to others. You know, I was always told as a child, you are the one in a million. One in a, in a million, you are. One. Have you ever think about it? Like identical twins, they have different prints. They have different prints. You, your sisters and your brothers, we all have different prints. You are one in a million. I am one in a million, right? You are unique. You are uniquely differently made by God, right? Embrace it. And another thing I want to speak about, social media has opened up a lot. The good, the bad, and the ugly. And comparing ourselves to others is one of the ugly. Com comparisons, comparisons, the social media comparisons. You need to remember social media is a highlight of people's best moments. You don't see their struggles. You are bombarded by the best moments, the reels, you know, the TikTok. You see, you see the best moments in people's life. People don't share struggles much. Struggles are not highlighted. The failures are not highlighted. And so you see the best moments, you know. So too much comparison leads to low self-esteem and lack of confidence. And this is what you need to get out of, okay? This can often lead to jealousy. I always speak about jealousy to my friends. And I always say, listen, it's a bad spirit to take on. This can cause depression and anxiety. Don't become ugly and wicked because of jealousy. For example, if you see a woman on social media with a certain body, you may say, I should have that body. Or if you see someone with their husband, you would say, oh, I wish he was mine. So those are negative thoughts that you should not take on instead love yourself and train your mind to think positive speak on yourself speak to yourself daily beautiful things speak to yourself i am beautiful this is all god made me so now do you see how fate increases your confidence there is a quote that says how how do you how you do anything is how you do everything you should write it down and start by using it as a mirror what does it show you about yourself because sometimes when you pass judgment on others about something it's probably because you don't like that same thing about yourself. You know, your reaction may derive from feeling or envy. So evaluate yourself, okay? Mirror, mirror on the wall, okay? So being kind to yourself. Start being gentle to yourself. Start searching you. So let's recap. Step one, know your worth. Remember, you are unique, you have incredible qualities, and you are special. Embrace your strength and acknowledge your achievements. Step two, practice positive talk. Replace negative thoughts with uplifting affirmations. Speak to yourself daily. Tell yourself that you are capable. You are capable. You can do all things. Okay? Step three. Set achievements and goals. Start by writing them down. You know, start small and work your way up. Each accomplishment will fuel your confidence, helping you to realize your full potential. Step four, surround yourself with positive people. Choose your company wisely, carefully, 
surround yourself with people who will support you uplift you right their positive energy will inspire you and empower you for greatness step five embrace your failure remember setbacks are not a reflection of your worth instead view them as value lessons that you will that will you that will help you to strength to strengthen your your excellence towards determination okay and step six take care of your body your mind and your soul engage in achieve activities that makes you feel good exercise you know having good relationships right eat nutritious meals that will fuel your brain that will give you the powerhouse that you need up there and prioritize self-care self-care is so important oftentimes we don't take it as important as it is these are the things that will help you to de-stress to relax your mind your body and your soul a healthy body and a healthy mind can do wonderful things for you and will boost and increase your confidence step seven believe in yourself trust your abilities your instinct remember you have what it takes to overcome any challenge any obstacles right you can jump any whoop okay embrace you by following these steps i'm sure that it will be a step towards greatness it will be a step towards building your confidence towards boosting your confidence right and taking it to higher heights so go out there remember that you are special that god loves you embrace who you are right and beautiful things will happen all those energy that you sent out there will return back to you thank you if you love this video remember to like subscribe share it share it to a friend that struggles with confidence you know comment below let me know how you boost your confidence what do you do to boost your confidence okay confidence will help you in all different areas of life right so we need it it's a skill that we need and we need to develop healthy ones okay so thank you for watching living healthy being wealthy this is a healthy wealthy mindset video thank you remember to like subscribe again and share if you found this video helpful all right we have to power up our achievements okay go ahead and power up your mindset thank you for watching